Welcome back. The Pentagon now says 109 U.S. service members suffered traumatic brain injuries last month in an Iranian missile strike on an air base in Iraq. That number is 70 percent higher than previously reported. Meanwhile, here at home, the Department of Veterans Affairs has pioneered a new approach to help those wounded warriors heal and even return some to the battlefield. Our senior investigative correspondent, Catherine Herridge, got an inside look at this innovative program. Catherine? Errol, it's rare to hear directly from special operations forces who take on some of the most difficult missions and work in the shadows. As the nation relies on them and their families, once again, this program is helping them heal emotionally and physically. Once you have enough injuries, it's not necessarily a specific injury, it's the totality of the pain. After seven major deployments and two dozen surgeries, Navy Another SEAL Clay Pendergrass and his wife Sophia yeah. understand better than most the physical and emotional cost of serving your country. How much has, has he been gone in the course of your marriage? About 80 percent or so. 80 percent? Yeah. A swimmer in the Warrior Games from the outside Pendergrass looks strong. But on the inside he struggled. In the spring of 2018, a spinal infection pushed him over the edge. I was in the hospital for about three months and then another six months to kind of just start walking again. Was that your wake-up call? I would say that was my wake-up call. But Pendergrass didn't want to leave the SEALs. That's where a revolutionary program at the Tampa VA hospital came in. I hate, I hate feeling broken, you know, and, and that's hard to get over. That's hard to not want to be on the cutting edge and, and carrying your weight. What this is is, a, is an MRI scan of the brain. Mm -hmm. CBS well, News got an exclusive look at, look at the program called PrEP, PrEP shorthand for post-deployment, rehabilitation and evaluation program. I want you to try your best to shift through those rings for me. Okay. Using virtual reality technology, the therapy team retrains the brain after battlefield trauma impairs balance. It takes 45 seconds for the treadmill deck to lower. An underwater treadmill reduces chronic pain and rebuilds confidence. Also dealing with stress, dealing with trauma. And during the 6 to 12 week inpatient program, special operators can meet with a therapist, many for the first time. It's like uh, getting the help becomes another mission. It, it does. It yeah. Deputy Commander for Special Operations, Vice Admiral Tim Shemansky said, the program is part of a culture shift in the military. The testimonial is in the people going through it and then taking it back to their teammates and it's a trust factor. Folks are coming forward and we're showing them that they can return to duty. And getting that help is not a career killer for people. Getting that help is not a career killer. The Tampa program only has a dozen beds, but there is new momentum to expand so other war fighters can heal. At least in my case, it got me back to duty. I feel like the prep program really just helped him find his way back. For their family, it comes down to being a better leader on the battlefield and a better husband and father on the home front. Errol? Catherine, thank you very much.